Today on the Base Channel, we're checking out the Prime P1 from Moor. Chances are you've probably heard of this at least once, but if you haven't, this is a miniature headphone practice tool that connects to your smartphone, uh, and you can change all the parameters within the app. We're going to get into the specifics of it later, but just up front, I want you to know two things. The first of which is that I'm actually making a little bit of money off of this video, so it helps me pay the electric bill for one more month, and uh, you guys get a cool demo of this little guy. And secondly, all of the tones in this video uh, are all coming from the app. They're all presets that were made by me this morning, actually. Uh, I made 12 different presets using all of the built-in effects and only the built-in effects to try to get as many flavors as I realistically could. There are a bunch of different effects for each category. So you've got, you know, up front, you've got your kind of dynamic section, you've got your overdrive section, you've got your amp, cab, uh, there's an EQ, a blend, uh, there's a bunch. We're going to look at them all, uh, but off the top of my head, I'm blanking. Uh, delay and reverb and modulation. There it is. Uh, so yeah, again, like I said, all of the presets uh, were made by me this morning. These are all custom presets, so if you want to make them, if you have this, or if you're planning on getting one, uh, we go through and, and show you all the settings. So without further ado, let's get going. <laughs> whether we get paid or not. We're gonna start by checking out what the website has to say in the product description, get into some tech specs, and make sure you have all of the actual information that not only do you wanna know, but you're gonna find when you do the research anyway, so we're just helping save a step. Let me put on my announcer guy voice. Say goodbye to bulky effects pedals and clunky power supplies. The Prime P1 fits comfortably in your pocket and provides an input and output jack, headphone out, and a USB charging port that also doubles as a USB OTG port for recording directly to a mobile device. Preset selection and volume control is handled by a single clickable knob on the front of the P1 for a simple user interface and quick effect selection. <laughs> can download the Prime app, which is available for Android and iOS devices and is completely free. Simply download the app and pair it with your Prime P1 to customize your own presets and load up to four tones simultaneously. The mobile app also includes common guitar tools such as a metronome, tuner, drum machine, and looper. The firmware at launch is designed to be used with bass guitar and electric guitar. Moore plans to update the firmware in the future to support other instruments like acoustic guitar. The Prime P1 also supports Moore's F-Series wireless foot switches which can be paired via Bluetooth for hands-free preset switching. Okay, so there's your official description. Uh, again, it's it's very small, it's very light. It is quite a bit smaller than my iPhone. This is a 13 Pro, regular size, I think. And it's quite a bit smaller. It uh, actually kind of reminds me of like the old iPods, like the generation three or four or whatever it was with the with the little click wheel. Uh, I don't think the, no, the wheel doesn't click, but it turns to select your preset and then you can hit the button to turn it on and pair it and all that sort of fun stuff. So let's hear another tone. Oh, <laughs> oh,
So here is your foot switch. Again, uh, for the purpose of today's video, we didn't really need to use it. It's kind of one sound per sample. But if you need to switch your presets on the fly, you can do so with this. Uh, it's got a USB-C input on off switch. Um, I'm sure it's easy to pair. I haven't done it yet. But it's also pretty lightweight, uh, but it feels solid. It, like, you know, sometimes you can feel like give uh, I don't feel that that much here. Now, of course, we did run over a boss pedal uh, a couple years ago with a truck. I don't know if I would do that to this guy, uh, but again, just stepping on it with your feet, uh, it feels it feels real sturdy. So I wouldn't really worry about this too much. Also, a moment ago, uh, I referred to this wheel as switching the presets. That's that's not true. The wheel is volume. The button is switching presets. So, my mistake. But either way, uh, it, it definitely has the old iPod kind of vibe with that with that wheel. I love it. And then, as far as the technical specifications, I'm not going to read all of them. I'll just put them right here so you can check them out. Uh, saves you a trip to the website. You get all the info you need, and we can get right back to listening to it. <laughs> probably know we are good friends with the people over at Zounds and a lot of the things that we do comes from them. Uh, this one is a little bit different. This one did not come from Zounds. This came from Moor, as I mentioned up top. Uh, this one is a paid video for me. I don't know why that's a big deal to anybody because I'm not going to sit here to say you need to go out and get this right now. None of, I, I'm just showing you how it sounds. Uh, I can tell you that it's lightweight. I thought the tones sounded good. I want to know what you think of the tones. Um, hopefully you feel that I deserved my pay rate for this video to help keep these lights on. Uh, I'm not getting mega stupid rich one day, but not today. Uh, so anyway, point being, normally have a Zounds affiliate link for you down below. Today, not the case. There is an Amazon link. If you do want to pick this one up for yourself, check out the link down below. As of right now, mid-2022, this is going for about $149, which I think is a pretty good deal. Uh, I mean, again, it's, it's a small headphone practice thing. I mean, I guess technically you could gig with it. Uh, just run it out to like a power amp or something, and, and you should be good to go. Just... You know, obviously make sure that you, you've got the tones dialed in on the phone before you just go out and play a gig. But for a practice tool and a recording tool, cool. Not a bad price, 149 for all of those different effects that you get. I mean, you saw we were able to get a variety of sounds, um, like quite a few. So I don't know, it's up to you to determine whether that's worth it to you if, if you really need a headphone practice amp. If you do, I got no issue with this one. I think it's cool. If you don't, then of course, you know, keep looking and, and go do other things. Okay, and that's just about all I have to say on the Moor Prime P1 from Moor. That was redundant, but I guess it fits because here we are at the end screen part where I have to try to say bye and sign off and do a tagline and I just, I don't like doing it because it just feels awkward and disingenuous. And if you don't believe me, this is like the sixth time I've done this whole bit talking about how awkward and disingenuous it is. So, um, subscribe videos. See ya.